Then after the construction of the civil work is the next uh, uh, issue is the construction of the track work. And this is a, a site of uh, construction of the track work where the turnout is being set here. Uh, turnout is set here for construction of the, the earthwork, uh, the construction of the track work. Okay, so this is where the turnout is being, being constructed. Uh, here I'd like to go through this uh, uh, different type of the, the track work. Uh, basically, there are two uh, uh, major type of the, the track work. One is the ballast track, which is the transitional track work we usually see. Uh, the track work is constructed on ballast. Uh, another one is the slab track, and which is a uh, uh, construction of the track work on uh, slabs or uh, 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 precast slab uh, or, or cast uh, slab at the site. Uh, and then uh, the track the, the rail or the track work is being, will be constructed on this slab. Uh, these two types of the, uh, uh, track work also evolved, evolved as time. Again, let's take Shinkansen as an uh, example. Uh, for the, uh, the first Shinkansen constructed in Japan, 100%, 100% of the track is sitting on the ballast track. So it's totally 100% of the, the, the trip work using the ballast track. However, uh, in the second Shinkansen line, uh, testing of the slab track started. Okay, so the, the, the slab track is, has been uh, 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 tested during this. So it's a 95% ballast, 5%. With the success of the test of the slab track, the third Shinkansen tried to use 70% percent uh, uh, slab check and only 30% percent ballast. Okay, so 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 the 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 the, the majority role is changed, uh, changed from uh, ballast check to slab check. And a Jozu Shinkansen, which is even newer than that, has 95% percent slab check. Uh, the others. Uh, also have 90 or 84 percent. So basically, you can see in Japan's uh, Shinkansen uh, construction, the newer line is the slab check, uh, uh, or majority slab check. Okay. Uh, for the Taiwan High Speed Rail, 99 percent, 99 percent of the track work are slab check. Uh, let's look at the, all the, the track work uh, uh, around the world. Uh, the slab check is a little bit more. The slab check is about uh, 10,000 kilometers. The ballast check is about 9,000 kilometers. So you can see majority of the uh, uh, check work in the world, again, is slab check. Uh, of course, if you look even carefully, you will find these are the newer uh, check work and these are the older check. Okay, so that is the kind of the train. So here I'd like to show you how the slab track is being constructed. I use this as an example uh, to show you how the track work is being constructed. Uh, of course, uh, the beginning you need to set up a work site where you set up your rail or you set up your slab. Okay, and then you load this to a, a the structure or the earthwork or the, uh, the bioduct. So you load all this up and then at there you try to join your rail together from 25 meter to 400 meter. Okay. So this rail will be joined together and then you have machine uh, to distribute this rail. So you distribute the rail to the site and then you move in your slab and you put them together. Okay. I try to uh, skip all the all the steps. There are many intermediate steps, but bear with me because we don't have time. Um, so this is uh, how the rail is being set on the slab, and slab is set on the foundation. Foundation is set on the uh, earth structure. 
so this is the section which is show you uh, how the rail is set there. Uh, after rail is set, then you start grinding. Yeah, uh, actually, you have to start adjusting the alignment, and after adjustment, you grinding it, and then you test the alignment. Again, there are many intermediate steps I have skipped. Okay, so after you have the rail, then you can start install your power system. Uh, you can start install your power system using the track, which is the laid there. Okay, so you start using the walk train uh, to uh, put the, the uh, uh, a catenary wire, uh, okay, uh, after you put the catenary wire, you can put your contact wire and so on and so forth. So there are many steps going through that. Again, please bear with me, we don't have time to go through detail, but there are several steps and you construct this, uh, uh, this uh, 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 power distribution system and then so this is the power distribution system. And so again, using the work train, you can construct the signaling system, you can construct the wayside equipment and so on and so forth. So basically, you lay the track, that track becoming construction railroad, that construction railroad will becoming uh, the, the, the equipment. Uh, uh, help you transport all this uh, uh, equipment, all this uh, uh, installation uh, uh, around the, the, the track. Okay, and then after that, you have to construct all these uh, uh, wayside equipment, uh, which including the disaster warning system. You construct all kind of disaster uh, warning system around the track work. And then now you have it ready. Okay, uh, uh, so the whole line construction complete. The next step is to construct, uh, well, concurrently you can construct your station and depot. This is no obstruction to, to the other construction sequence which is carry on. Uh, so you start construction the stations and depot and this is the station uh, of the Taiwan High Speed Rail project. Uh, this station uh, is uh, um, uh, just as an example, uh, there are concourse and there are platform, uh, there are track work, uh, had to be constructed. So these are the, and there are office, uh, back office or equipment room had to be constructed. So this is what include, include in a station construction. Okay, this is the uh, station after being constructed and so you can see this is the, uh, for the Taiwan High Speed Rail Project, this is the through track which just goes through uh, this station without stop. And these are the stopping uh, 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 track, uh, stop at the platform so the passengers can go on and off. This is the concourse which uh, passenger park their car and they can go into the concourse and they can uh, immediately board the, the, the train. Uh, the shorter the distance, the better the design. Okay, so uh, that is the, the design of the, the high speed rail station and construction. And then, then the next step is to construct the depot. The depot is where you maintenance your train, uh, and this is the maintenance shop, and or where you stable the train during the night. Okay, so that is what the function of the depot or maintenance yard you call, uh, in America you call yard, uh, in other country we call, uh, in other place we call depot. Okay, so this is the maintenance uh, shop and this is the uh, stabling yard. Okay, uh, this shows how the train is coming in uh, and then uh, to the maintenance yard and, 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 and so on and so forth. Okay, let's now look at the, the facility. Again, I try to use the layout of, of uh, the uh, the wood depot at Taiwan has, of Taiwan has period to illustrate what are involved. And this is the stabling yard of the Taiwan High Speed Rail project. And this is the inspection shop, uh, or maintenance shop for the, 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 uh, 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 for the train maintenance during the night or inspection during the night. And these are some of the factories and this is the storage yard for the maintenance material like uh, slabs and rails and so on and so forth. Uh, and these are some of the shops which maintain the equipment. Okay. Uh, and this is the line which connect to the main line. So in the night the train will come in 
are either stable in here or the, they will be going to the inspecting shop to inspect. So that is the kind of the arrangement of a depot. And this is how it looked like, again, for this depot. The, uh, the train will come in from this uh, uh, line, um, uh, and then uh, for those have to be uh, go into the maintenance yard, they go into the maintenance yard to maintain. Uh, Loads had to be uh, stabled and they stable here. Okay, and these are some of the shops which will maintain all this equipment in the future. Uh, and this will be an office for the uh, administration people here. Okay, so this, okay, this show you how a depot look like. Okay, so with all this, I think I try to go through uh, the, uh, uh, I, I, I start to try to give you an overview, an overview of constructing a high speed rail system. Uh, what we try to go through is that uh, uh, what uh, is the kind of spatial characteristics of a construction of the high speed rail system, and then would we look at the elements, the elements you had to construct for a high speed rail system, which including the uh, power system, signaling system, uh, controlling system, OSI equipment, civil work, track work, staging, and depot. And then we look at uh, the uh, uh, characteristics and we look at how they should be sequenced. And so we look at uh, how they should be sequenced. And then we look at what kind of spatial techniques has been devised had to be in devised to carry out this construction in sequence. So uh, that is uh, the content of what I try to include in today's uh, uh, lecture, and hopefully it will give you an overview, an overview of what happened uh, at the construction site of the high-speed rail system. Uh, thank you very much.